Uh, what is it going to take for conversation around cryptocurrencies to mature? Oh. Mature people. <laughs> <laughs> Replace everyone in the space, uh, get rid of them, <clears throat> wash out the new generation. Yeah, what, do you, what do you think? Have you ever seen this before? No. I mean, yes, I've seen it before, but it's not mine. I love the, the sort of soap opera, if mm. you will, the personal dynamics yes, behind so much of this. And they have this book, this burn book, where they write mean things about all the girls in our grade. What does it say about me? You're not in it. Those bitches. Have we seen the last of the uh, the severe infighting in the, in the community? We're like, oh, yeah. we, we don't want any part of this. And believe me, people tried to drag us into the middle of that I've, one. I've... Sure, Jan. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not referring to anybody. If someone says something bad about you, you want me to tell you, right? No. What if it was someone you thought was your friend? Are you guys still friendly here, or what's, what's the story about the Coinbase? Uh, friends of yours, like Warren Buffett, who calls this rat poison squared. She said that? You didn't hear it from me. A little harsh, Scratch. <sighs> Whatever, she has a right to know. You can have some really dumb people and some really great businesses and they wreck them. You're not stupid, Karen. No, I am actually. We might have to teach them basic economics. <laughs> Without even having a basic knowledge of basic economics. Are you going to be reading up and learning how to hold your own private key safely and securely or are you going to be watching Game of Thrones or something else? Are you still solvent and <laughs> actual investors are like, how long is this winter going to be? But winter is coming. And if you're going to allocate your capital to watch in like Game of Thrones or like doing You're whatever. You're really on Game of yeah. Thrones. Or when she was here. It's a self-referential world in which you created this funny money, literally funny money, and you're exchanging one funny money for another one. In 99% of transactions is the trading of one funny money for another funny money. Why are you so obsessed with me? And Noriel Rubini. Well, <laughs> not so no. much. Hey, I'm blocked by Noriel. I don't even know what he said. <laughs> I, 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 happen, I happen to like him. Uh, it's going to be totally fringe. Nobody's going to fucking care. You let it out, honey. Put it in the book. The ratio between arrogance and lunacy to knowledge it's just I've never seen it anywhere. But it seems like you're relying a little bit on sci-fi concepts. Ask yourself, how does that make sense? It makes no sense. Yeah, I don't really care so much about these random retail people. What we care about is like how much talent has gotten pulled into the space. I think now if you So this to, is an elitist argument. You're not using. really. It's the people who are going to make the next stuff for the next retail to buy. Human beings are herd animals. They like the comfort and the safety of doing what everyone else is doing. So yeah, last year it was easy to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of the other cryptos because everyone was doing it. There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. And so it's almost fashionable to be into crypto. Well, and then... well it was. <laughs> Six months ago. Now, it, now, it's not. Not. now, yeah. now you're destitute. The people now say, well, crypto was a fad, it's going bust. You don't know what Bitcoin is yet? Like, I thought people are supposed to know. Like, I thought this is MIT. I thought everyone's supposed to, like, know the cutting edge. I remember walking around the show floor and just looking around and thinking, I've never seen any of these companies. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know anybody that's here anymore. Yeah. Yeah. One of the first questions was, so have you ever heard about Bitcoin? I told her no. Do you know who I am? No, I, I can't say that I do. I don't know how to put this, but kind of a big deal. You are like the person who always came out and saying like, this is a scam, this is a scam. Basically anything besides Bitcoin wasn't a scam. Um, do you, like in retrospect, do you see that differently now? Or, yeah. Yeah. or do you think still everything is a scam? 81% of all ICOs were scams to begin with. Would you prefer to buy junk bonds right now or crypto? Neither. Neither. Not both of which them. Which is which is higher in the stack in your in your capital structure. Well, right now, junk bonds are because you can make a fundamental assessment. Well, you know, I feel a little negative about some of the cryptocurrencies because I don't think they have an obvious niche other than kidnapping. Uh, any other shit cryptos? Shit, shit coins. Shit coins. If yeah, you absolutely. Will. You don't need ether. Ether doesn't need to exist. <laughs> so you take each one of these things and you ask yourself, are they useful for something? The realities are useful for nothing. Did you write this? No, I swear. Then you told somebody. She told. You little bitch. You're a bitch. 
you know, thousands of them are literally shit coins that have lost 99% of their value. They're either dead or failed or zombies, literally. I mean, who, who even cares about them? It's like so. wildebeest coin, like I was talking about earlier. What's wildebeest coin? It's just a shit coin, really, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> are you allowed to say that on this? Oh, yeah. But, like, I'm not oh. here to discuss the merits of Ripple. I'm just saying, like, these things that people... <laughs> We're being nice. Oh. I think the, the back launch will probably be a non-event and be more like something that people start to trade on. Day one, it won't you know jump up the price that much. Um, so you I think the uh, back will be a non-event. I don't think it'll be a big event the day of. Do you have a, a Litecoin prediction by the end of the year? It has literally no reason to exist. It's like a multi-billion <laughs> wow. dollar right. test. I'm sorry. Like I, I, it, I agree. It's uh, it's like. It's a, a very, very expensive test net. Uh -huh. I think the narrative of it's silver to Bitcoin's gold is bullshit. There's uh -huh. no need for that. Um, and Charlie Lee dumped his entire stake at the peak of the market to avoid a conflict of interest. The, the new fad is stable coins because, you know, you have to, paradox, right? You're creating cryptocurrency that is what? That is linked one to one to what? To fiat. They traded their Bitcoin for shit coins, right? And so what? it actually helps. No. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Who's like a crypto celebrity where you would be like, you would be, uh, you know, I want to meet that Can guy. Can I unmeet some? Uh-huh. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> can I unmeet some? Oh, can you unmeet yeah. some? Okay, uh... I can't go out. <laughs> I'm sick. Boo, you whore. Winter is coming. Shut up. <laughs>